G'day guys, M Tintem here. That's gonna be my trademark. G'day guys, M Tintem here. I think that'll be my trademark. Uh, today we're going to be making, well not making, we're gonna be knowing how to use the camera settings within the plugin for Octane within Blender. So, um, I'm just creating a cube. Um, I duplicated it. Yes, I know there's an array function and a lot of people keep on telling me but I like to do things quick. But not everything. Insert pun. Alright, so let's just align this up. Um, add limbing this sort of tutorial. Okay. Let's make all of this flat. I'm just setting up my scene here, which you do not need to worry about. All right, so to uh, to enable the camera to get the camera settings, uh, click on the camera icon here. We'll select first, select your camera, then select the camera icon. Um, do not mess around with the lens, or actually, do you? no, you don't. No, you do not. Yeah, so don't mess around with the lens or camera display. Only mess around with the Octane camera, as you can see here. So, let's see the settings we have in front of us. We have the ov obviously the pan mode, so we can change it into a cyl cylinder, um, cylindrical image. Hopefully, it will let us. Does it? Is it ready yet? I don't think it is. Uh, that I'm doing it wrong. Alright, well, uh, you can change the, once it's working, I guess you can change the, oh, you want to have a HDRI or, or, or such. Uh, you can also have the, you have the aperture settings ready, willing, and let's focus something first so it doesn't break on us. So there's the aperture, so you can add some depth of field, some nice depth of field. That's my phone. Um, I have the aperture edge, edging, and the distortion. You also have your stereo for the very gimmicky 3D options. Very useful. Um, oh, yeah, also you have for the camera, you also have the priest. Oh, no, nope, never mind. I guess you can uh, use the lens settings here. I think these are actually, to be honest. Oh wait, I am sorry. I thought this was the inbuilt Blender one. Sorry about that. So yes, the lens um, options. You can use the lens. Obviously, the focal length, the shifting, the clipping, which is very useful. You can use the orthographic. So if you want to do like, you know, presentations and stuff. Um, the scaling of it too. Uh, the panoramic, which is pretty much your HDR creation box. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much covers the camera for within Octane. All the options that we currently have available for us for Gemstar, the magnificent wizard, adds more options. I think this one's the thing. I think the one I have is pretty outdated, so I think I might update it soon. But I'm happy with it now for tutorial's sake. So, thanks for watching, and next will be the camera imager.